Hello everyone, welcome to episode 11 of Painting with Vanilla Biscotti. This is a fan requested episode. What I did is I went over to my happy little Twitter and I put a poll down. I had everyone vote on what they would like to see me draw next. So this is the winning vote. I'm going to put that up on the screen graphically so you can see that the poll. The winner pretty much won by a landslide. And I'm also going to graphically place my Twitter down on the bottom. In case you ever want to join in on the fun. Sometimes I post polls. Sometimes I post funny videos and memes. Just all around having a good time. So without further ado, let's draw the winner, the winning vote this time. And this time, it's... King Koopa, or Bowser, as some people like to call him. I personally like to call him King King Bowser. You might be saying, Vanilla, that's the funniest looking Bowser I've ever seen. Well, just, just wait. We are just getting started with Bowser here. It will all make sense once I start drawing in some more of the details. You know, a lot of people stop by on the show here and they like to talk about certain things. You know, and I, I feel like I've covered a lot of a lot of topics way back from when I first started this channel, first started this show, I really didn't have any idea what I wanted to do with it. And I would just draw silly pictures and kind of just talk about what I'm doing. But this show, over the last couple of months, has grown to be so much more than just me drawing silly pictures. Of course, I do teach you how to draw perfect pictures every time. That hasn't changed. And that, that will continue to be what it needs to be. But what I mean is this show has changed into now I give people advice and ideas as to things in their life. And that's good because that means that my show has become somewhat of a vessel. A vessel for messages. A vessel for people to maybe learn something. Maybe to feel a little bit better about something in their life. Maybe they're going through something that they don't really know how to cope with it. So maybe they turn on my show and they just listen. Just listen to some of the things I have to say. Even if it doesn't pertain to them. Maybe it gets their ideas flowing. Well, I tell you what. Sometimes ideas are interesting, to say the least. You can have the greatest idea in the world. And if you're like me, you forget a lot. So, what I like to do is if I have a really good idea that I don't want to forget I'll actually I'll write that down because then you can go back to it you can remember it and oh boy let me tell you there's nothing better than getting a good idea off of paper and into your mind, into your thoughts. Boy, that's one of the best feelings in the world you can have. Like me, I have a lot of ideas all the time. And sometimes I go for the idea and it doesn't work out. But that's okay because sometimes you just have to go for the idea go for whatever it is you're thinking about 
just 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 to see if it happens just to see if it's going to work out not every idea is going to be a perfect one you're going to make a lot of mistakes in life and that's okay that's how you learn you stop learning when you stop making mistakes and that's one of the worst things that could ever happen is when you stop learning because that means you're getting too comfortable and you're stop you're gonna stop trying soon and boy oh boy when that day comes then it's pretty much all over for you and your mind so I'm gonna tell you right now friends don't ever stop trying please because when you when you stop trying that's as I said that's when you really are gonna get into some trouble because you always have to try you always have to try you always have to want to try to succeed you always want to try to be a little bit better you always 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 want to try even even if you try and fail you can at least tell yourself you know what I tried my hardest and that's all at the end of the day someone could ever ask for if you just try your hardest try to put in a little effort boy I'll tell you what sometimes it makes all the difference and so far our King Bowser is looking pretty fantastic I'm gonna give him his trademark red hair here that we all know and love right over his eye like this yeah that looks pretty good okay once again I started babbling that's okay the message the message is always nice But friends, I'm telling you right now, when you stop, stop trying, you know, and there's so many ways you can try. Another thing I want to talk about is being yourself. Some people, some people say, be, be myself, who else can I be? That's a very good point. Uh, you know, you know how these, it's always good to have idols to look up to. There's nothing wrong with looking up to somebody and, you know, they're, they're, they're your hero. They're who you would like to be. But don't ever think that you aren't good enough to be yourself because that is just not true my friends everyone should be themselves and that sounds it sounds easier than it is I know I know what it's like you know maybe you have a friend or a, a, maybe you're trying to con you know trying to impress a friend or someone that you want to be your friend you might tell a little fib here and there. There is nothing more. There is nothing better in this world than you just being yourself. Nothing. And I'm going to tell you what. I promise you this. If you, if, you do, if you start acting like yourself and you get that confidence started to build up, Boy, I'm going to tell you, there's nothing that you won't be able to accomplish in this world. I'm going to tell you that right now. You know what? 
since we're talking about being ourselves, I want you guys to try something. When, when you're at home or at school or at work, just try to imitate your favorite artist or musician or maybe you like wrestling. Just try to imitate your favorite person for a whole day. The way they talk, the way they walk, and just pretend you're them. Now, eventually, you're going to get tired because that's not naturally who you are. Now, just imagine doing that every day, every day you wake up. Oh boy, let me tell you, that that's going to get that would get very tiring for me very quickly because I only know how to be me and I can't be anyone else I can't be you I can't be John Cena or William Defoe or Chris Christopher Walken all these people they are themselves and I can try my best sometimes to, you know, maybe sound like them here and there. But to truly be them, that would be, I, I would not be able to because that is not who I am. So, with that being said, all, I, all I'm telling you is... It's hard to be anyone else other than yourself. So, you already are who you are. There's no need to be anyone else in this world. And you can, you can, you can, I can guarantee this. You know, sometimes my, my mouth moves too fast for my brain to comprehend, but... I'm telling you, as your friend, as your friend, as someone that likes to paint pictures for you and give you life lessons, it's better to just be yourself. And you know, you might, you might find somebody that's, that tries to be like you and oh boy is that something something to behold when you are being yourself and someone tries to be like you boy that can be flattering or it can be a little scary it's all for you to decide how you would like it to be And I think we are just about done with this King Koopa drawing. Just going to change the mouth a little bit here. So it looks more like a mouth here. You know what? I'm going to give him a big, big smile. It's not every day that King Koopa gets the recognition that I think he, he deserves. But if I'm going to do that, I'm going to have to change this a little bit. Just a little bit here. down just a little bit but above this one here change this to black it's a little too thick there and there we have it my friends a perfect King Koopa every time I hope you enjoyed your time here 
I hope you enjoyed listening to me talk. I hope you join me on the next one. I'm going to put another poll up on my Twitter. You can decide what I draw next time. I'm also going to graphically display my Twitter handle in case you ever want to talk to me. If you have any suggestions for the show. And I will see you next time, my friends. Take care.